since my, going to my grandmother's funeral and dad getting sick in British Columbia to you know, visiting here now after he's finished his radiation treatment. It just seems like a whirlwind of a year and a half that, you know, not something you want to relive, but also there are so many great moments amidst the hard moments. Seeing what the heart pump could do to extend life, it's a, it's a pretty great gift. Without it, Don wouldn't be here, full stop. They've evolved tremendously. What Don has is a very small device relative to what used to be something on the order of a bypass machine. Dealing with unique things like this is part of what makes the job fun. I remember when I was a medical student, patients with that type of a device actually lived in hospital. And just seeing that he's, you know, out in the community and living, you know, living with this was, was neat to see the advances that have been made in that. The uh, clinic does an excellent job of supporting anyone with an LVAD. As Sonia and her team, uh, Dr. Baska, they're just excellent. I mean, we learn from, from every patient. Every patient is unique. Um, so now I, I'll learn a little bit more about prostate cancer. Everybody comes with their own story. They were responsive to the family, cared about us, kept us informed and we were really very good with Don. And the fact that Don has um, a positive social network as well as a positive outlook on life are essential to his health and well-being. He's likely to live longer just because he's inspired to live longer by those that surround him. And I guess this, this whole project is a good example of that, of how they're willing to share their lives if it can help somebody else go through this. He's accepting that he has the problem and it's, it's his to deal with. And at the same time, he is giving back to us a hundred times more than we can give to him. And thank God there are people like him in the world and I think we'll do everything to keep him in this world.